Coming up, meet a man with 23 personalities. We're introducing you to the star of one of the funniest shows to ever hit the stage door theater. All right, well, lots of actors feel like they are going through boot camp when they are preparing for a new role, but this one really takes the cake. Now, this talented guy is assuming 23 different roles in the show Basic Training. Now, it's uh, showing <laughs> at the stage door theater, and right now, we're joined by the star of the show, Khalil Ashanti. How are you? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Stop, stop, stop. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> well, tell me, I mean, 23 different roles, split personalities, what's going on? Yeah, a little bit of everything, man. It's uh, 23 characters. I was in an acting class with Jeff, uh, taught by Jeffrey Tambor in L.A. Uh -huh. in 2001, and I just got tired of waiting for other actors who were late for rehearsals, so I just started doing <laughs> so all the different, different roles. roles. <laughs> yeah. Gotta make it happen. Is it lonely, though, on the road by yourself? No, I've got 22 you know... people to talk to. <laughs> <laughs> hey, how you doing? Oh, I'm all right. <laughs> I, know, <laughs> I love it. How did you get into this? Were you well, stand-up yeah, or Hang on actors? a second. We're going to see you on Oprah here pretty soon. That's right. Like your 20 different I'm personalities. I'm Oprah. Um, but yeah, um, it's, it's just, a, it's a lot of fun. It's, it's a true story. It's uh -huh. life on stage. I started out as an actor um, and as a stand-up uh, teenager. As a teenager, I grew up in Iowa. I was born in Germany, lived in Japan until I was 10, and then I went to high school in Iowa. <laughs> that doesn't mess you up, nothing will. Right. Um, and, uh, and I would just, you know, t t imitate teachers and stuff like that. And then yeah. I joined the military, did impressions of my drill sergeant, and got caught and got in trouble. <laughs> Okay, and they actually lied to you. You were going into the military to, to be, be an, architect. An, an architect, and then what happened? Uh, I got, got stationed in Las Vegas, Nevada. <laughs> As a mailman. As a mailman. <laughs> they made me a mailman. Aim high. <laughs> so instead, what did you end up doing? You were entertaining oh, everybody. Yeah, that's right. So I decided I wasn't going to feel sorry for myself. I decided I was going to make the most out of my time in the military. And I, joined, I tried out for this talent show. It's called Tops in Blue. Tops in Blue is an all-active duty military touring troupe. Yeah. And you can try out. Thousands of people try out worldwide. They choose 28 people. They chose me as a comedian and breakdancer. And my job in the military was touring the world, performing for the troops on the front lines with Tops in Blue. Oh, that must have been kind of fun for you. All right. So you have to, where, where do these 23 different characters perform? personalities come from just from people you've known they're all true yeah they're all true to life people um the night before i left for basic training um my mom casually you know just kind of casually informs me that the guy who had abused me my whole life wasn't my real dad okay she, she swears she told me before she said i probably just forgot <laughs> And so that's the opening of the show is I'm sitting on stage with my mom and she's cross stitching and she just kind of hands me a book called The Treasury of Khalil Gibran. Well, that's who you were named after. And then it's just right, a snowball wait a minute. From Can you do a, a oh, bit for us? Oh, yeah. Seconds yeah. Or so. yeah. Um, everyone's favorite character is Uncle Tony. Mm -hmm. And Uncle Tony is my conduit to hopefully finding my dad one day. So I'm like, hey, Uncle Tony, um, hey, I was just calling to see if you had anything on dad. Look here, black man, I sent you that information in the mail about a week ago. You didn't get it yet? I mailed it in February, which happens to be Black History Month, the shortest month of the year. <laughs> I paid, brother, I paid 41 cents for postage, a quarter, a dime, a nickel, and a penny. If you look at the quarter, a dime, and the nickel, you will notice that the presidents are faced to the left. On the penny, Abraham Lincoln is faced to the right. Why is that? Why did these three presidents <laughs> turn their back on Abraham Lincoln? Because Abraham Lincoln helped the black man. That's why they put him on the lowest denomination of currency, the darkest denomination of currency, and the only one that rusts. Talk to me. <laughs> Oh, man, that sounds like so much fun. Well, now, do you give any of the drill sergeants? You got any of the drill sergeants in your show? I could, but censors might. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. probably true. That's so, probably true. Sorry about that. Is this that. kind of the, the R-rated version of maybe Major Pain or something you like that, where instead of calling be, a maggot, so you're calling be, no, a little... No, to be real with you, it's, it's, it's not R-rated. It's just real. I'm, I'm okay, just saying cool. exactly what the guy said. And... <laughs> And I'll tell you what, people Which who've been in the military are, are, yeah, I guess you're right. Well, you can go see this guy. How long are you in town for? I'm here till the 25th. Okay. Um, a show every night um, through Sunday, except okay. for Sunday's show is a... 3 p.m. at night. All right, and it's at the Stage Door Theater there at the Blumenthal, and uh, it, it is fantastic. I just wonderful, Thanks. wonderful, wonderful. Have you seen it? No, I'll have to check it oh, out. I thought you yeah. saw it. What a tease. No yeah. way. Oh, okay. You are so talented. Thank you. Thank you so much. Best of luck to you. All the Thank success you. in the world to you. Thank you.